Hi, my name is Carlos Rivera. In this session of Groundwater Modeling with FIFLO 7.4 Tips and Tricks, I would like to explain you a few options to simulate lakes in FIFLO. Our first option to simulate it, lakes, so like a peak lakes or natural lakes, is by using a fluid transfer VC. Here, we have the advantages of not including the void space in the if image, so we are saving some number of elements and nodes. However, because this is a boundary condition, we will need to prescribe the water level in the fluid transfer VC nodes. The second option is through the so-called pseudo air layer. This is a very fast implementation because it requires a simple parameterization of hydraulic conductivity and porosity to represent the void space in the mesh. So we have additional number of elements to represent these volumes. There might be certain isolation, isolations depending on the contrast of material properties that we use to represent our rocks and at the same time the void uh, space of the lake. And the third option is by using the free available plugin IFM Lake. We don't need to include the void space in the mesh. We also don't need to exactly prescribe the water level through the boundary condition. We have the advantages of having a simplified water balance for the lake done automatically by the plugin. The plugin will be responsible to set the water levels through the boundary and this facilitates a lot of our pre-processing. Let's put in practice all this information in an example. We have this groundwater model 3D. We saw the Richards equation for the groundwater flow. We have heterogeneous Richards and the groundwater level is mainly controlled by a fluid transfer VC. In this case, it's a river located in the left part of the, our model domain. Initial conditions means that the lake is dry, as you can see in the cross sections, and we are, run, we are going to run the model for 100 years. Let's look at the first example, where we have implemented the void space of the lake through a parametrization of conductivity. The conductivity is really large, 10 meters per day, and we have a porosity of one. The water level, visualizing in the cross section is located at the bottom of the lake. If we press start, we can see how the water level start increasing immediately. Looking in detail the hydraulic head history charts, we can see the increase of the water levels along the simulation. In order to start with the next example, you will need to go to our website my power by DHI and go to the section download, useful tools and add-ons. Go until the end of the page and you will find IFN Lake plugin. You require to download this plugin, it's free, install it, it's very easy, and then you're ready to start. We are back in FIFLO. We have modified slightly the geometry of the mesh to include the voice space. We have attached the plugin IFN Lake in our plugins panel. We need certain definition before to start running the problem. There is a well-defined user manual for this. We require the definition of the lake that is called IFN lakes. It's just an ID to identify how many lakes we have in the model domain, a digital elevation model, a transfer parameter to prescribe the leakage factor for the fluid transfer VC or what we call in FIFLO transfer rates. In addition, we also require a number of time series. We require a relationship between the lake volume and the water column. This is prescribed here. And we have also to provide the input output of the volumes flow rate cubic meters per day in the lake. In this example, I have to add a specific volume to the lake um, through the time series because I would like to increase the water level of the lake through the Richard parameter defined already in FIFLO, the in out flow on top bottom. If we run the simulation, IFN Lake starts doing a simple water balance calculations and this information is displayed in the log panel. In FIFLO, if we look in the 3D view, we can see that there is a fluid transfer VC set automatically by the plugin. And now if we leave the simulation running for a few more seconds, we can observe the increase of the water table. The cross-sectional view is telling us that there is increase of the water table. Now we display this by the Y lines in the cross-sectional view. You have left today two different options to simulate lakes, peak lakes in FIFLO. Uh, if you want to like, you would like to get more tips and tricks about FIFLO, then I recommend you, you join our FIFLO newsletter community. 
Thank you and until the next time. Bye.